As we've seen over the last several years, there's definitely a style of rifle that is being targeted by the federal government and really quite honestly, the whole world to get rid of. They hate this gun, they want it gone. And that's the AR-15. And a lot of people think, well, the government doesn't know about my AR-15, but do they? That's what we're gonna talk about next. <laughs> Chances are, if you went out and bought a rifle over the last couple of years, you probably bought some sort of AR platform or AR variant. And if you didn't, you probably got an AK or an AK variant, something like that. But generally speaking, you probably bought some sort of a sporting rifle, a semi-automatic rifle that's magazine fed. Now, even though, even though more people are killed with hammers, there's at least a thousand more people killed with hammers last year than with all rifles combined even though it's still heavily targeted and you may say well they don't know about my AR or they don't know about my rifles so uh, you know if they're after them how are they even gonna know well you know they do and they don't um, right now they probably don't uh, there's a high likelihood that the government does not know about your AR. But if they want to know, here's how they will know. The way they're going to find out is they just go to the manufacturer. Uh, there's not that many AR manufacturers out there. Uh, there's probably less than 100 in the U.S. And they'll go to all of them. And they'll get a list of all the guns and all the serial numbers that they sold. And they sold them to distributors out there. And then they'll go to those distributors. And then those distributors will share with them which gun stores they sold theirs to. And then they'll go to those gun stores. And that's where they're going to find your name and address. And then they're going to show up at your front door. Uh, that's how it works. Uh, it, and it won't take long. So the moment that ARs or that style of rifle become illegal, if they become illegal, uh, now one, they will never technically be illegal because the Constitution tells me that I have every right to own one. But if the governing powers that be choose to create a fake law that says that it's illegal, uh, that's how they're going to find out. Um, that's how they're going to know who owns them. So does the U.S. government know about your guns? Well, no, and yeah, they definitely can find out. It, it, it'll only take a matter of days uh, to find out who actually owns that. Once they set out to search, it'll be within 30 to 60 days that they'll be knocking on your door. From the moment they decide to set out and search, it'll be 30 to 60 days before they knock on your door. And we know this to be true because we've seen that recently with a lot of other types of firearms and firearm parts that once they decided to hunt those down, um, gun store owners, you know, they're more than happy to give out your address if they leave you their FFL alone. Hopefully some will stick up for you, but most are gonna stick up for their business. You know, that's just, you know, <laughs> they make the choice and that's the one they choose. Uh, but they will show them who, who they sold it to eventually, whether they choose to right away or whether they're forced to, eventually they will show it. And eventually that'll lead to you. And even if you bought your gun from somebody else, when it leads to them, they're gonna tell them who they sold it to and that's you. Uh, so that's how they know. Does the US government know about your AR? No, uh, but they sure can find out pretty quick uh, if they wanted to. So there's, kind of the big and the short of it. Now, again, of course, they're not illegal, but obviously you've seen the efforts out there and there's a lot of them, a lot of efforts uh, to outlaw certain, certain guns. And this is definitely at the top of the list. And this is how they'll find out if you own one. So uh, any thoughts or insights you might have on that, uh, definitely put that below. If you've been through a process like that or you had the ATF bang on your door, put that below as well. Love to hear about that. <laughs> Uh, other than that, if you like this video, click like and subscribe. If you feel called to support this channel through Patreon, that link is below. Uh, but the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests. So please don't ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.